I see another case. This is a case of Marse in Namdekano. Most will be revisited as quick as possible. But the revisiting of this case is going to be so rapid because that issue is most to be settled between now and this month we are entering. I see the matter revisited in a serious matter. This is a serious matter. And the excellence of that is because to see a way to be able to come down the southeast. To come down the southeast. But this matter need to urgently, as quick as possible, be handled so that everything that needs to be put in place will be put in place and everybody will be happy to continue to trust God and look up to God and see what the Lord has in store for his people because I'm not giving you the message that is in the dream I'm giving you the message that is also very very spiritual so that you can be able to know the mind of God and what God is saying about the event that's going to happen all over the world we must pray the prayer that needed to be prayed because this is the time that everything is about to fully unfold. We must allow what God wants to do to be done. And also, whatever is not the will of God should not be done because uh, the dimension God is taking the people of Africa, no Africa country will be left untorn. So if you have the opinion, oh yeah, my own is different. We are this with democracy, whatever, whatever. Go and pray very well because what the major prophet is seeing is that no Africa country will be left unturn. It is going to be a competitive wave that we wave from one place to another, one place to another, and it will come to what's called, what's called, this was called, this was called, their own kind of democracy. Africa will build their own kind of leadership and going back to the origin, back to the origin, how they were living before now until their, their, their way of living was robbed and taken away from them and something else given to them. I see the African people going back to their origin to go and now have their way of leadership and governance again. But this issue that we are talking about that's about to unfold in Africa must not be an issue to now which haunt religion. Because uh, this matter is also going to get to a level it will surely affect religions. <laughs> we need to also pray because what is coming is not just coming for coming sake. What is coming is also coming to touch every sector. It's going to touch every sector. You man of God, you woman of God, you people of God, pray the prayer you need to pray now because what is coming is going to now touch every aspect. It's going to touch religions. It's going to touch organizations. It's going to touch associations. It's going to touch almost every sector of life. And then you need to know that all of this thing that is coming is a thing that is already spiritually designed that will begin to happen on the face of the earth. So, major prophet of God in the prophetic, I will have no choice but to prophesy what the Lord is showing to me. All the promises you hear from my mouth now is what what God is already showing to me. So we need to pray. We need to trust God. We need to be in faith and in confidence of what God and God alone can do. Don't forget that God will do nothing except the first of all reveal it to his servant, the major prophet of God. The month of September will bring laughter. The month of September will bring what's called people need to be very careful. In the name of Jesus. Because I'm seeing again what's called retiring of service chiefs. Does it mean that the people that were promoted are not capable? Okay. What's, oh Lord, speak to your servant. Let me hear you clear and say what you are saying. The Lord said this is not about only about service chiefs. This is about retiring people in the military again retiring people in the military and the kind of a kind of the military that's going to be what's called what's called going to the military to now begin to now give some people compulsory retirement compulsory retirement and different sectors many people will be changed i'm seeing what's called people 
that are already fixed that will be withdrawn and changed. And this is an issue. This is an issue. This is an issue. The major prophet of God. What am I seeing in the realm of the spirit? This was called the spiritual world. Being able to look at the spiritual world to see what I'm seeing. I'm seeing what's called people that are already given offices and people who are already promoted and people who are already in a place. People who are already in a particular sections. I see people now being called back and removed from where they have already been placed and they replace them with other people. So all the ministers should pray and all the people in one appointment or the other should pray because a lot of people, I'm seeing the realm of the spirit, what's called recalling people out and replacing them and this is what's going to come out out of daily news and it's come out of some newspaper and the rest of the newspaper and they say such a person has been changed and replaced and this is a person that you have heard the name before but what's called a sack and replaced sack and replaced and another issue that we must also take care of is what's called the month of September is a month of what's called what's called political promise being fulfilled and what's the promise being fulfilled People that want different kind of positions in different parties that are already celebrating and are already there. I see what's called the court. This was called the court, the tribunal and the court now passing judgment. And I said the court, what are you passing the judgment for? And this judgment is going to make a lot of people now cry and a lot of people now rejoice and say yes, ah, we are past judgment and this is what is already in the provocations of things that's going to be because the major prophet of God we have not to say anything except what the spirit of God has put in my mouth to say so we need to pray and we need to stand in the gap to call upon the name of the Lord and say to you oh God let thy way be done on the face of the earth whatever you will for us is what we want let it come whatever you desire for us is what we will that it might come to pass in our lives Show us mercy in the name of Jesus.